This is a second stimulus check and stimulus package update for Wednesday with big news about another loan. And it doesn't have Jovita Carranza's name or face anywhere on it. Wow. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This is LL8. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below and we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. And please hit that bell on the front of this channel so you get an alert when we're offering some Weeble stocks and insurance quotes and links below, which is probably never. Um, and Charlie, we'll get into a couple of your stuff, your stimulus check and stimulus package questions. And certainly today was overshadowed by the hot mess of a congressional hearing about EIDL and Jovita Carranza, head of SBA. But the day started on a really fascinating note, which I was hoping would have been the front and center, a new loan. Yes, <laughs> we're here to help you. And sometimes other things get in the way. So a new loan is now available. And guess where it's from? It's from Amazon. Now, unfortunately, not all of you qualify for it, but it's very, very interesting. So Amazon Launch announced today what it calls a new digital credit line. Uh, for And you need to be U.S.-based, which you obviously are, for merchants. And the bank that's going to be processing it is Goldman Sachs through its brand called Marcus. Um, what is it and how does it work? So if you are, you have to be one U.S.-based. Two, you have to be an Amazon seller. And if you are, you can get a credit line up to $1 million based upon people with knowledge of the project speaking to CNBC. Uh, the interest rates may or may not be attractive to you. The credit lines will come with a fixed annual interest rate of 6.99% to 20.99% and can be drawn and repaid like a regular credit card. Where in that realm it falls, I don't know. This is a very early report. It's not being written today yet. Uh, quote, we are super excited about embarking on this journey with Amazon and thrilled that they chose to park with us, says Omar Ismaili, head of Goldman's U.S. consumer business. So Goldman was ultimately <clears throat> the choice that Amazon went with. They had apparently considered having a marketplace of lots of lenders to be available to you and that you could go in there and just choose <clears throat> among them uh, as sort of like a, a supermarket, a Whole Foods of um, credit lines. But they ultimately chose Marcus. What does Marcus get out of it? Well, Marcus will have access to your data only for credit line information and only when you apply. Not to make other product offers, people said. Amazon won't have access to that data that Goldman collects for the uh, qualification process as well. Um, Amazon had considered a marketplace, but decided to go just with Goldman. They've been in development with this project since 2018. It was originally called Project Augusta. <laughs> I don't know where that name came from, uh, but ultimately decided to pair up. The date and launch date is still pending. So really quite exciting. Um, the second stimulus package from, boy, the second stimulus package in the mem before members of the Senate is still sort of going like, here and there, which is sort of the way Jovita Carranza answers questions, much of nowhere. Um, the current package before them <clears throat> comes from the House, which calls for a $1,200 check, which could come to you as late as September. Um, extension of UI and PUA benefits of $600 per week for the federal government into, the, into January. They're currently expiring in July. Uh, an addition of hazard pay benefits of $13 per hour on top of normal hazard pay, a forgiveness of student loans, an extension of student loans and pay, uh, principal and interest, currently expiring in July, extending it to January of next year, uh, and a whole lot of other great stuff. But that $2,000 check every six months seems not to be happening. Multiple $1,200 checks seems not to be happening. And the Portman plan, which called for $455 to be paid to you uh, per week on top of your salary if you go back to work, doesn't seem to be happening either. There's a lot of chatter and not a lot of movement. Um, but there we are. Let's get to some of your questions. Broward person, people who threaten suicide often don't, but could. People talk about, I might not be around. Great work of doing your work on the videos. LLA Muji, you're the best news source out there. Thank you. Peggy Segundo, another great vis video. I have two businesses. 
Um, we absolutely need more stimulus. My gigs for the first half of the year will not be returning. Then the struggle for the $9,000 grant the SBA owns me. Give me my damn money already. Rick Nostro, thank you for supporting this channel, Rich. Hello there, I sent you a copy of my letter. To, I emailed to Rubio's office today. Wow. Um, please contact your congressman. Please, please, please. Robert Henson, also thank you for supporting the channel. Oh my goodness, greasy wet balls, Korea block. Uh, Annette Jackson, come on, chicken, tell me what we're going to do with the spam folder. Samantha, I'm drained, exhausted. I feel like I've been running a, one triathlon after a next. What do they want from us? Very well said. Monique Francis, always oh, on point, palms away. Uh, Kawan Kim, where's a copy of the letter? Um, so we dropped a copy of, our, of, a, of a letter we sent to Marco Rubio in yesterday's, Tuesday's EIDL grant and EIDL loan video. It's in the pinned comments. Under LLA. Uh, Louise Artu, Artu Colon, regarding your previous video about the EIDL grant tomorrow, I'm in Rhode Island. Um, what should I do or should I contact? So a lot of the links we mentioned in there are for people that were on the committee for today. That doesn't mean those are the only people that are interested in your troubles. You need to contact your local congressman. You can do that or senator. You can do that by Googling it and then it'll actually send you right to their page. Uh, Robert Henson, it's consumer confidence going to make the economy great. Very well said. Kuan Kim, not there, LA, only in a pinned PayPal. Um, it's there. It, you got to open, open the pin, open the e. It says below it, open, and then it's like pages and pages long. I stout everywhere. Best bombshell TV reporter on YouTube. Well, thank you. Bob Gabriel, I wish I lived in Kentucky so I could vote against Mitch. <laughs> Robert Hanson, another great shirt. Thank you. Meet Madhouse Fifi, great shirt. How am I doing today? Um, Sinead uh, Desiree, I don't know if that's an insult or compliment. I guess they, I think so. Daniel Evans, the rich, they don't care. Mac, Michael Buckley, it's getting crazy by the minute. Very well said. Laura Alvarado, hey, LA from El Paso. I love El Paso. Uh, Michael Buckley, president needs a new financial advisor. Well said. Interceptor, I like you always look good. This, that stimulus is just bad. They should give the small businesses their $10,000 grant. Good luck on us tomorrow. Tim McCann, you, you got my vote for president. Just say no. <laughs> I can say no all the time. Uh, if you have questions about today's video, drop them in the comments below by 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we may answer them in tomorrow's according. As always, stay at LA for more.